Hello, hello, my name is Callista and welcome back to Cognition, an Erica Reed thriller. In the last episode, we had a, um, an interesting time with Melissa and a Ouija board. However, thanks to her, we have gotten another one of these bracelet charms. I believe someone mentioned there were six. We've now got four of them. And we also found out that Kelsey had a post office box here at the post office. However, I believe Erica mentioned that the uh, the actual number has been scratched off. It'd be really helpful if I knew which post office box this thing opens. Yeah, the, the we don't know the actual number. However, I believe that we can use our synergy and the mail. Yes. Come on. What do you want me to do? Excuse me? Um... Bam, bam. There we go. Whoops. Number 303. Got it. Okie doke. Let's see. What's 303. in here? 303. Here it is. got some mail. No one's opened this in a while. There's actually dust in here. Just one unopened envelope addressed to Kelsey. Okay. Oh. A screwdriver. What's that doing here? We need a screwdriver for the vent. Nice. Okay, so what is this? Nope, can you please open it? It's a typed letter. No signature. Your threats are worthless, Kelsey. No one will believe a drop out over me. And if you keep this up, I can make your life hell. You'll never get into another college, and you may never even find a decent job. Oh. Put an end to this before it's too late. Someone was threatening her. Your threats are worthless, okay. Kelsey. No one will believe a dropout. There's no signet. Something was ripped off here. I can still see the bottom of the letters that were on it. Okay. I wish you'd uh, let me have a better look at that. Damn, okay. Okay, but we, we have a screwdriver. So let's quickly go to Kelsey's apartment. Also, Hales reminded me I never actually tried to cog anything in here. Okay, is there anything cogable? There's the package. Oh, why do I think this is gonna end badly? Why do I think this is gonna end really badly? can't see anything. Damn it. Okay, so we need to add stuff to this. Got it. Okay. Is that... Is that a broken light bulb? I can't... I can't really tell. Okay, screwdriver. Use it. What was she hiding in here? Envelope. It's wicked dusty in there. This envelope's been sitting around for a while. Nothing written on it. But it feels like there's something shaking around in here. Hmm. Why would Kelsey hide this? Let's see what's inside. A memory card. Oh. Hello. Okay. She doesn't have a computer. So let's let's head back to the Bureau, see if we can use it on ours. Okay. Erica, 
take a seat. Now then, can we see? Oh, no, we can't. Okay. Can't use it on ours. Can we use it on Sully's? No. Okay. Um, hmm. Let's see. Uh, Melissa had a computer. I don't suppose. Can we, can we use it on Tess's? No, we can't even see the computer. All we can see is Tess's phone. Melissa's not there. I told her to stay with some friends until this blows over. Okay, the more- I hope you're somewhere more peaceful now, Davies. Okay. Um, there's not gonna be a computer in the cemetery. We can't get into Joey's place. Kelsey didn't have a computer. Okay. Let's see. Let's see, I'm gonna head back to um Kelsey's apartment just for the time being. Cause yeah, she she doesn't have a computer in here. The memory card I found in Kelsey's apartment. Uh, you can't, no, you can't use it. Let's see. Something was ripped off here. I can still see the bottom of the letters that were on it. Um. Okay. Combine. Can we put the memory card in our phone? They're financial oh. records from Daniel Chapman's personal account. How did Kelsey get these? A lot of deposits are coming in from places other than Berkeley, though. There's also a list of companies owned by the Susie K. Lending Institution. A few of these are in the financial records, too. The Dean's taking money from the same student loan company that turned oh. Kelsey down for her loan. <laughs> no wonder he's got all these pricey collectibles. He's taking money on the side. But how can I be sure these are real? She might have faked him. Oh! Oh, we can use Synergy! On the, um, the, where is it? The, uh, thing, the thing! No, this! Threatening letter and this! He used his own mail! Oh, okay, maybe not. The Dean wrote this, so that's what he's hiding. The financial records must be real. Why would he send this letter if they were faked? Okay. Okay, let's... I think maybe we should go confront him? Maybe? So that's why he was lying about how much he knew Kelsey. Because, and was she blackmailing him? Dean Chapman. Hello, Agent Reed. Dean Chapman. Hello, Agent Reed. Yep, Kelsey worked here. He's already denied knowing her well, but if she worked here, it would probably be in his files. We can attempt the accusation. It's something, but it's not enough on its own to go making threats. They'll probably continue to say she never worked here. Okay. Okay. And... If we show him the threatening letter, I don't think that's... I don't think that's gonna do anything. 
I don't think now so. Now I need some physical proof to tie him to this letter. Okay. Yeah, I think I think he wrote it on the Berkeley stationery. She mentioned that something was ripped off. He ripped off the letterhead. Can I They match. This was written on official Berkeley stationery. It's what something, an idiot. but it's not enough on its own to go making threats. They'll probably continue to say she never worked here. Okay. Can I combine the threatening? This is not going to work with this. Okay. This would no. Okay. Okay, we've we've loaded that into the cassette player. Um, hmm. How do we tie? Ooh, I'm a bit stuck. Okay, so we've. We've tied the Berkeley stationery and the threatening letter together. I don't suppose that is enough and the game's just not telling you then. Hello, Agent Reed. It's something. Yeah. But it's not enough on its own to go making threats. They'll probably continue to say she never worked here. We need to get into his files. He keeps his desk neat. Inbox, some blank office of the Dean's stationery, phone, and a computer. Hmm. If we need to get him to leave the room. Hmm. I don't... I don't suppose we can, like, sneakily dial outside. Excuse me. Please, thank you. Um, no, hmm. Okay, we've tied the Berkeley stationery to the threatening letter, and we can't tie the memory card. That won't work there. This is not going no. to work with this. Hmm. They're financial records from yeah. Daniel Chapman's personal account. How did Kelsey get these? A lot of deposits are coming in from places other than Berkeley, though. There's also a list of companies owned by the Susie K. Lending Institution. A few of these are in the financial records, too. The Dean's taking money from the same student loan company that turned Kelsey down for her loan. <sighs> no wonder he's got all these pricey collectibles. He's taking money on the side. That's what the letter is about. He knew what she was doing. He'd only send that if these were real. It's something, but it's not enough on its own to go making threats. They'll probably continue to say she never worked here. Okay. So we need something else. I, I don't think that there is actually anything I can do here. Hmm. Let's see. And we can't go to Melissa's. I don't think there's anything more we can do at the post office, I don't think. I suppose this guy can help us out. Can I talk to you? That's what they pay me for. <laughs> How can I help you? No, he can't. That's all for now. Okay. Bye. Okay. We have an empty envelope. The envelope from the P.O. box, but the stationery, threatening letter, hmm. Okay. And can we 
Yeah, we've... We've got that. And we've, we've already used that. So I don't think there's any... Oh! Oh! Okay. I can't stand it anymore. Everything's just total shit. I can't go to school. My job sucks. Everyone is against me. Kelsey, don't say that. I'm here. I still love you. I'd do anything for you. You know that, right? That doesn't get my scholarship back from Little Miss Perfect. Or fix my grades, Joey. Or get my job back from that piece of shit Dean. Kelsey, please, don't. I've made up my mind, Joey. And he is not getting away with what he's done. There's another memory here. Oh. Hello. Okay, so I think we need all six of them to see this one. But we have figured out... Okay, so we've got the, the box combination. Maybe there'll be something in there that'll tie to the Dean? This belonged to Kelsey. There was some trick to open in it. Got it. Oh. 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 I can't do this. I can't. I can't. I need to talk to someone. Erica, how are you, sweetheart? I've been worried about you. I heard about what's happening. Dad, I, I'm, I'm not good. Some psycho is hurting Sully. She took his eye out and I just found it. Slow down, Erica. Breathe. You can do this. You're strong. You're tough as nails, honey. Just breathe. Oh, please, just... Talk to me, Dad. Of course. Uh, hey, remember your high school soccer team? You were a hell of a goalie. Even took one right to the face and kept going. <laughs> that hurt like hell. I was lucky nothing broke. Like that would have stopped the brick house. <laughs> brick house. I haven't been called that in a while. I'm sorry, Dad. I know Davies was a friend. She was a good woman. But Erica, you can handle this. You're gonna find this piece of crap who's hurting Sully and bring her to justice. I know I can trust Brickhouse to never let anything stop her. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. I'll feel better once I catch her. Or unload a few rounds in her. Your job is justice, not revenge. Don't forget that. Be careful, Erica. I don't want to lose you two. I love you, sweetheart. I know. I better go now, Dad. Thanks. Oh, shit. Okay. Okay. Damn. Oh, Sully. Okay, we've got a demo CD. Have a G-clef charm. Okay. Okay, bam. Was that the last one, or are there... Yeah, I think there are six. Okay. Okay. We also have her demo CD. Which, can we... Oh! She's 
pretty good for someone who snapped and started a killing spree. Yeah. Okay. So this didn't get us anywhere closer to nailing the Dean. Hmm. Um. Hmm. There's clearly something we're missing here. I don't really want to go back near the uh, the puzzle box, but is there anything else? Oh, I don't need to see that again. I'll call Terence when I'm done and get CSI over here to take care of it. Okay. And there wasn't anything else in the vent. Um. What am I missing? Hmm. We do have this, uh, tape recorder. I don't know why we did that, but we did that. Okay. Um. Maybe. <sighs> Joey's place was all boarded up. I don't think there's anything we need in the cemetery. Maybe. I'm gonna go try and talk to Rose, see if she's got anything to say. Hey, Rose. Hello, my dear. Yeah, no, she doesn't. I'm gonna get going. Goodbye, my dear. Let's see. Um, hmm. We can't go back to the morgue. We can't go back to Melissa's apartment. I, again, I don't think there's anything we really need to do at the post office. Maybe we can do like a... Um, can we try and look up Dean Chapman's financial records? Something like that? We can't. I don't have any evidence yeah. to look at right now. Okay. I'm gonna go talk to John. Just in case he has any thoughts about this. I feel like I'm missing something obvious again. I don't think I've tried to cog anything in the Dean's office. McCoy? Red? No, he doesn't have anything to say. I'm going to go back to my work. Go get him, Red. I'll try Gwen, just because I'm passing her. Hmm. Hey, Gwen. Any news? Not really. Sorry. Thank you, Gwen. Anytime. He didn't seem to be using any gloves. So can we get this for this fingerprints? This is not going to work with this. Okay. Yeah. This is not going no. to work with this. Okay. We just use this to get um, the P.O. box. So we don't really think that has anything to do with anything. Hmm. I think whatever I'm missing... 
missing, I think, is something in here. Dean Chapman. Hello, Agent Reed. No one, I can't cog anything in here. Oh! Is there something you need from my files, Agent? Yes. I'd like to see your personnel files on past work-study students, specifically Kelsey Gardner. What? Forget to mention something earlier, Dean Chapman? Like the fact that Kelsey was working in your office as one of your personal assistants for over a year? Care to explain yourself? Uh, you, you can't, you can't go through there without a warrant. Lying to a federal agent is not something we take lightly. You'd better explain yourself now, Dean Chapman, or I'm going to a judge for a warrant for your arrest. Well, I, I didn't want to look like I was connected to her. He wasn't having an affair. You, you are connected to her. You are connected, and now you look guilty as hell. Agent Reed, I had no further connection with her, and, uh, and you have no proof that I did. And furthermore, I am not permitting you access to any files without a warrant, Agent. Well, we've rattled him. Can we try and... Yeah, it's time the Dean and I had a talk about this. Oh, okay. It's something. But it's not enough on its own to go making threats. He'll probably continue to say she never worked here. Okay, I'm... Do I have to say this one? What happened with you and Kelsey, Dean Chapman? Maybe you were having an affair. Should I ask your wife about her? No, God, no, I would never. Look, she was mad when she lost her scholarship. She blamed me for losing it, and I pointed out that her grades, of course, did not support her keeping it. I, I even referred her to a lending institution to apply for a loan. And you never said this because... When she disappeared, I didn't want anyone to think I was involved. I wasn't. I haven't seen Kelsey since she dropped out. And that's the truth. So, Kelsey threatened the Dean with these stolen financial records, and he sent her that letter to get her to back down. The idiot even used his own stationery. I think it's time Dean Chapman and I had a little talk. Okay. Accuse him. One more time, Chapman. Is there anything else you want to tell me? N no, I've told you everything. Lies. I really hate being lied to. First you lied about knowing Kelsey and that she worked here. Now you're lying about why she stopped working here, when, and why she dropped out altogether. You have no proof of any of that. Uh, I think you're fine, I do. Yep, threatening letter. This letter was sent to Kelsey's personal post office box months ago. Whoever wrote it ripped off the top to conceal the letterhead. What has that got to do with me? They didn't rip quite enough off. The bottom of a few letters are left. Letters that match your office stationery. That's all that proves is someone used a piece of Berkeley stationery to write this. Do you know how many offices carried that? You're right. But that's not all there is. This? That won't work there. Shit. This? These files prove that you've been taking gifts from the Susie K Lending Institution for at least four years. Students get referred and ripped a new one on interest rates, and suddenly you're going on really nice family vacations and getting instruments signed by Yo-Yo Ma and the Beatles. That's a... Uh, there's no... Those are falsified reports. I highly doubt it. And a little scrutiny from the experts will prove one way or the other. How are you feeling about your odds in that bet, Daniel? I think it's time for the truth. The letterhead, these financial records, plus the fact that Kelsey had access to this office and your reports. And your personnel records over there will no doubt back that up. And the fact that you lied about knowing her. I think I've got a great story for the Boston Globe. How about you? What do you want? The truth, you piece of shit. OK. 
Okay. Did Kelsey work here? Did Kelsey Gardner work in your office? Yes, she did. And why was she fired? She threatened me. She said she had proof that I was corrupt, and if I didn't get her scholarship back, she'd turn me in. So you threatened her right back? I thought it'd make her back off. Okay, and did you know she'd never get a loan? You knew she was never gonna get a loan from them, didn't you? Who they give money to is out of my hands. I just refer people, that's all. And collect all the perks paid for and in interest by your students. It's a, a consultant's fee. It's a conflict of interest the size of Russia, and it's illegal, jackass. How many students are living off ramen thanks to your referrals while you're taking trips to Dubai? And what happened the last time you spoke? What happened the last time you spoke with Kelsey? She came here to tell me she was dropping out, and uh, she said she would go to the police with a file. She was screaming, threatening, out of control, and I was honestly scared. I sent that letter to make her back off. I never heard from her, and then she went missing. How convenient for you. I told you, I had nothing to do with her disappearance. What are you hiding? Now we're getting somewhere. What else are you hiding? I, I got a package this morning. I, I think it's from Kelsey. It came by messenger, and inside it was this charm. Another silver charm. Consider yourself lucky to be alive, Chapman. The victims all were found with charms like this. I'm a target? Well, you need to help me. You need to protect me. Hell Don't no. Don't worry. You'll be very safe down at the station. What? I'm FBI, Chapman. Did you really think I wasn't going to tell the police about this? Do yourself a favor and don't leave town. The boys in blue will be in touch soon. Oh, no. I kind of hate it when I need to save assholes like you. I'll give Kelsey this much. She had every reason to hate you. Damn. I think we're on the final stretch here, but I am out of time for this episode, so please remember to like if you enjoyed, leave a comment below, and if you wanted to subscribe, it would be very much appreciated. I've been Callista, thanks for watching, and see you in the next episode.